Now, you have your left hand towards me, which is symbolic that you want to have or you desire to have your Self-realization. That you have to keep all the time like that. If you have anything tight here or tight here, little bit loosening. But yeah, if you are comfortable, it's all right. If you are comfortable. Main thing is, you should not be uncomfortable with anything. Now, we use this right hand for action, means nourishing our centers. We have to nourish our centers, our centers. So now put your right hand on your heart. You can put it under the coat, need not be under the sweater, but under the coat. Now, in the heart, just now keep your eyes open so you can see what you have to do. In the heart resides the spirit. Now, if you become the spirit, in the light of the spirit, you are your own guide, you are your own master. So take your right hand on the left hand side of your abdomen on the upper portion, we are only working on the left hand side. This is the center of your mastery, created by the great prophets. Now take your hand in the low portion of your abdomen on the left hand side. This is the center of pure divine knowledge. Surprisingly it is here. Pure divine knowledge. Then raise your hand again on top of your abdomen, the upper portion on the left hand side and press it hard. Now raise your hand again on the heart. Now put your hand in the corner of your neck and your shoulder and turn your head to your right. This center goes into jeopardy when you feel guilty. I'll tell about this later on. Now raise your hand on your forehead across and put down your head. This is the center for forgiving everyone, even without thinking about them. Now take your right hand on the back side of your head. Push back your head and ear. You have to ask forgiveness from the divine power for your own satisfaction. Now the last center is stretch your palm. I put the center of your palm on top of your fontanel bone area, which was a soft bone in your childhood. I put down your head. Here push back your fingers, this is very important. So there's a good pressure on your scalp. Now, please put down your head and move your scalp seven times clockwise slowly. Please put down your heads, put down your heads. You can do it better, put down your heads. And push it, push back your fingers, very important, yes. Push back, now, put sit down, Put down your head and push back your fingers so there's a good pressure on your scalp. That's all we have to do. The first condition is that you all have to be absolutely confident that you'll all get your self realization Please take down your hands. You all have to be absolutely confident that you will get your Self-realization tonight. That means that you are not to feel guilty at all.
That means forget your past. Whatever wrong you have done, whatever mistakes you have committed, will be dissolved by this power of divine love because it is the ocean of forgiveness. So you have to forgive yourself. And you don't know when you feel guilty what happens. If you have committed mistakes, it's all right. After all, you are human beings, you are not gods. You face the mistakes, finish off them. But what you do, you carry that here onto this center. Thus you get spondylitis, cervical cancer, angina, or lethargic organs. So what's the use of carrying this myth with you all the time? For something that happened long time back, you're carrying still. Please know you are not guilty at all. At this moment, you are not guilty at all. I assure you, you are not guilty. Let the Kundalini judge you. You don't judge yourself. All right. The second condition is that you have to forgive everyone without even thinking about it. You have to forgive everyone. Now many people say it's difficult to forgive. Whether you forgive or you don't forgive, you don't do anything. What do you do if you don't forgive? But when you don't forgive, then you play into wrong hands and you torture yourself while the person who has troubled you or hurt you is happy. But you are torturing yourself all your life. Now at this moment, this center is very important because if it is not all right, the Kundalini won't rise. <coughs> And also the center between the optic chasma, which is like this, is absolutely constricted. It won't open, but when you forgive, it opens. So as it is, you have tortured yourself all your life by not forgiving. And at this important moment, you lose the chance of your self-realization. So just forgive everything, everybody, everything, even without thinking about them. We can say, forgive them in general. All right. In short, you have to be pleasantly placed towards yourself because you are human beings. You are at the epitome of evolution. You don't know what you are. So please don't condemn yourself. Don't in any way get angry with yourself. It's a very simple thing that will happen to you and you'll be amazed at your own greatness. So now please put your left hand on your left lap and also both the feet away from each other. Now, please put the right hand on your heart. And now close your eyes. You can take out your spectacles also because your eyesight might improve. Now please put your right hand on your heart. Here you have to ask in your heart a question which is very fundamental. You can call me Mother or you can call me Shri Mataji. Please ask three times, Mother, am I the Spirit? Ask this question. Mother, am I the Spirit? Three times. I have told you, when you become the Spirit, you become your guide, your master. So now, please take your right hand, the upper portion of your abdomen and press it hard. 
here you have to say again three times ask a question which is very fundamental mother am i my own master ask this question three times Now please take your right hand in the low portion of your abdomen. Here the center has got six petals so you have to ask six times. I must say I cannot force pure divine knowledge on you. You have to ask for it. So please ask six times. Mother please give me pure divine knowledge in your heart everything to be asked in your mother please give me pure divine knowledge Now, as soon as you ask for pure divine knowledge, the Kundalini starts rising. So we have to nourish the higher centers with our full self-confidence. So now raise your right hand, the upper portion of your abdomen. On the left hand side and here, you have to say with full self confidence mother i am my own master say it 10 times mother i am my own master I have already told you that you are not this body, this mind, this ego, these conditionings, but you are the pure spirit. So please raise your right hand on top of your heart and here you have to say twelve times with full confidence, Mother, I am the pure spirit. Do not say any mantras or anything and don't try to concentrate. Just leave your attention free. The Kundalini will push it. So you just don't have to put any efforts about it. This all-pervading power is the ocean of compassion, is the ocean of knowledge is the ocean of bliss and joy but above all it is the ocean of forgiveness so whatever mistakes you might have committed are easily dissolved into this power of ocean of forgiveness so please forgive yourself and raise your hand in the corner of your neck and your shoulder and turn your head to your right This is the center, which is very bad today, I think, that you feel guilty. So please say with full confidence, Mother, I am not guilty at all. Please say it with full confidence. Sixteen times you have to say. I have already told you logically 
whether you forgive or don't forgive, you don't do anything. But if you don't forgive, then you play into wrong hands. Especially at this moment, you have to forgive because the center of Agya is very constricted and it won't open and your Kundalini won't rise. So it's very important now that you have to forgive. So raise your right hand on top of your forehead across and please put down your head. Here you have to say, from your heart, not how many times. Mother, I forgive everyone in general. Don't think about them. Just say it. Please put down your head. Now, please take your right hand on the back side of your head and push back your head. Here, without feeling guilty, without counting your mistakes, just for your satisfaction, you have to say, O oh, Divine Power, please forgive me if I have done any mistakes knowingly or unknowingly. O oh, Divine Power, please forgive me if I have done any mistakes, knowingly or unknowingly. Say it from your heart, not how many times. Please say it from your heart. Now, please touch your palm. Please touch your palm of the right hand and put the center of your palm on top of the fontanel bone area, which was a soft bone in your childhood. Now, this is important that you push back your fingers, so there's a good pressure on your scalp. Now please put down your head. Here again, I cannot force Sahaja Yoga on you. I cannot force self-realization on you. So please move your scalp seven times clockwise, saying, Mother, please give me my self-realization. your hand. Open your eyes. Please open your eyes and wear your glasses. Put both the hands towards me like this, little higher. Now watch me without thinking. Just watch me without thinking. Now, Put this right hand towards me, like this. Bend your head and see with your left hand, there's a cool breeze coming out of your fontanel bone area. Please bend your head. Or maybe hot. Please see that there's a hot or a cool breeze coming out of your fontanel bone area. Please don't put your hand on top of your head, but away from it. And now see for yourself, if there's a cool or a hot breeze coming from your head. Now, 
Now, put your left hand towards me like this, and again bend your head, and see with your right hand now, if there's a cool or a hot breeze coming out of your head. Sometimes it comes very far, sometimes closer. If it is hot, means you have not forgiven, or you are still feeling guilty. So please do it. All the heat is coming out. Now see for yourself. All right. Now, right hand you put it towards me, and now with the left hand you see for the last time, put down your head properly and see properly if there's a cool or a hot breeze coming out of your fontanelle bone area. Now, please put both the hands towards the sky and push back your head. Here, you have to ask any one of these three questions three times. Mother, is this the cool breeze of the Holy Ghost? Or, Mother, is this the all-pervading power of God's love, the Ru? Or, is it the Paramachaitanya? Just ask any one of these questions three times. Now please put down your heads. All those who have felt cool or hot breeze on their fingertips or on their palms or in their hands or out of their fontanelle bone area, please raise both your hands. It's so great. Most of you. One or two didn't get, doesn't matter, but they will get it also. So I bow to you all. Look after your saintliness. I become saints. I bow to all the saints. They are all realized souls now. And enjoy yourself. You can feel each other's. You can feel on the head of each other. The cool breeze on the hands. <laughs>